It's getting ready to get up, get out, and make some things happen this morning. Listen, we got to talk about USC, the number or the top three, the top three most slept on players on the roster right now. Look, this question was asked of, asked of me. Uh, shout out to Brandon Jones. He asked me this question. He said, Jay, who do you think the most slept on players are? It didn't take me long to think about them because I constantly think about these guys, a couple of them, um, sometime. But one of them is actually. Be, he will be here on the fall, but I think he's one of the most slept-on guys. Um, you never really hear anybody talk about him until he made his commitment. But we're going to talk about the top three players that I feel like are the most slept-on guys. And then I want to touch on this list here. Every year Fox Sports does a list, and it is a national title. They do different lists, and it's, it's just good conversation. It's the offseason. Um, it's a slow time. But they bring up some very interesting conversation and very interesting statistics. Um, during the offseason, but one of them is here. It says national titles by conference. Um, each conference, uh, each team from each conference that had the last national title, we're going to talk about that. You're going to be surprised. USC is still relevant. I'll just say that. Most appearance in the, in the AP as number one team in the country, AP poll, uh, we're going to have those, those numbers as well. So let's take a look at this information. Who are your top three? Put those in the comment section. Who are your top three? Um, most slept on players currently right now at USC. Let's take a look at these. Here's mine. Let's go. All right, that I feel like is the most slept on guy. You guys can tell me if you agree with me or not. This is going to be the number one guy. You see him here. You guys remember this play. Um, this was at the end of the game, but he came in. He made some things happen. This was against Fresno State. This is no other than Ray John Davis. You see him right here, number nine. He reads this play very well. Looks like he slid over, got that tackle, identified what was taking place, man and was able to come in and stick his head in there. We're going to take a look at it a couple of times. Rajon is that guy I think is one of the most slept-on guys um, on the team, man. You just, for whatever reason, and you guys know I did a video about him, uh, Rajon's up next. This was back in October when the two linebackers got hurt, but we still didn't see him like I felt like we, I thought we should have seen him. But Rajon Davis is possibly, in my opinion, the most, we'll look at it one more time, the most slept on guy. You guys hit me in the comment section. You guys tell me what you think. The next guy is going to be this guy, Darwin Barlow. I don't understand for nothing in me why he doesn't get talked about, why he doesn't get the opportunity, he, but I feel like if he just gets that opportunity, we're going to look, take a look at this clip. This is my favorite clip of him. Um, if he could just get the opportunities, I believe Darwin Barlow could be something special. I believe he's physical. I believe he runs hard. And, uh, man, look, you guys remember this hit. This was in a UCLA game. He just absolutely unloaded on that guy once he got down. And we're going to take a look at it in a smaller version of it just so you can guys can get a better look. That way you can see the whole play. But I believe that Darwin Barrow is one of those guys. If he just gets that opportunity, I'm telling you, it's going to be go time. It's going to be on and popping. And that was a touchdown on and cracking, man. You guys hit me. Do you agree with me? One of the most slept on guys on the team. The next guy is this guy, kicking from 60 yards, Tyler Robos. Um, look, he is going to be a freshman coming into the season, and it is straight up go time with this kid, okay. man. I'm you telling like you, he is the most slept on, non-talked about. Um, and I know he's a kicker. I know he's a special teams player. But I'm telling you right now, this kid right here is going to be something special. His range is crazy. You, I mean, he. this is the way he practices. If you see it here, he practices his stuff. Um, just kicking distance, and then and then he then he lines it up for accuracy. So man, look, you guys hit me in the comment section. You see this one? I think this one is one that goes through. This looks like it's from 50 or 60, but it's crazy his range and his distance. This is going to be Tyler once again. Um, by no stretch of a, I mean, this guy doesn't have a normal leg to be this to be a freshman coming in, and you have a leg like this. This is like unbelievable. And just to show you what kind of athlete he is. He actually had a couple of fake punts in this game, and you see that he has some absolute wheels on him to be a kicker, man. We're talking about somebody that USC is going to utilize. Um, he's the one of the most slept-on players, I believe, when you're talking about kickers. He, he kicks it. He punts it. He does the outstanding field goals, 
and we could do a fake punt with him. That's crazy. So look, it looks like this one right here is uh he got it at the one yard, two yard line. But Tyler Rebels is the real deal, man. And I'm very excited. Um, I know we got Eddie, uh, the guy from transfer from Arizona State. I know we got him as well. Um, I think he has a touchback right here. But I am very excited more than anything about this kid right here. So in my opinion, he's the most slept on guy. Look at him with them wheels. He looked faster than some receivers and running backs. Uh, he's the most slept on guys, I believe, um, that'll be on the USC roster. Tyler Robles. All right, this is my list here. Uh, this is from Fox Sports. National titles. This is how you know USC, how the power that it still holds in spite of not being in any national championships since 2004. But national titles by conferences last time among Power Five. You got Georgia, of course. SEC 2018 Clemson, 2014 Ohio State, and then Texas 2005, and then USC, still the, the reigning champions, <laughs> national champions from the Pac-12. They still hold it. So all these years that USC was not on top, listen, everybody else was still lost in the sauce, and they couldn't get it done in spite of USC being what they call so-called down years, which, of course, you know, in 2017, beat Penn State in the Rose Bowl, played Ohio State the very next year in the Sugar Bowl, um, lost that game. So we were somewhat relevant, but not all the way relevant to national championship standards. And so, but USC is still here, able to be relevant as it relates to the last national championship from the Pac-12 came from USC. Oregon still has zero. It, same thing that the jerk, that the, uh, the helmet says, zero. And here was another thing that Fox Sports put out. Very interesting. Most appearances at AP, number one in the AP poll, um, since 1936. You got Bama, one, 140. Ohio State, two, 105. Oklahoma, three, 101. Uh, Notre Dame, four, 98 appearances. And then number five, USC. Most of all teams in the country, they're top five, 91 appearances when you're talking about being at number one in the AP poll. I think these stats are incredible. Just USC still continues to hold weight. Um, and look, it's only going to get better. It's only Look, we're going to pick up where we used to be at, and this, this thing is really going to move and grow, man. You guys hit me in the comment section. You guys tell me what you think about these couple of stats, these couple of uh, uh, categories that USC is in. All right, so those are my top three most slept on players. Man, you guys hit me in the comment section. Who are your top three? Um, it's going to be Barlow for me. It's going to be Rajon Davis and then the kicker, Tyler Robos. I never, I don't really hear anybody really talking about him, but this guy will kick the football, I mean, out of the stadium. He is straight up, and I think he's going to be proven to be a very, very useful guy. Um, when you're talking about, especially with the clock changing, everything changing, we might need to just, you know, down the ball, kick it from 60. I'm just saying. But you guys hit me in the comment section. You guys tell me what you think. Who's your most slept-on player? And do those statistics from Fox Sports. Does that, does that uh, shock you that USC is still – USC, out of all these years, um, not saying that they were just irrelevant, but they still just have some um, – relevance to them, man. You guys hit me in the comment section. You guys tell me what you think. USC is still in the mix in spite of not being just a top number one team like they were early on in the early 2000s. You guys hit me in the comment section. Um, you guys already know. Make sure you get up, get out, and make some things happen. Listen, until later on, everybody stay blessed. Continue to fight on, fight on.